This painting is by George Sura. It's called A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jade. It was painted in 1884 to 1886. It's oil on canvas. This is our poster. Just to show you what the painting's like. George Sura used a painting technique where he applied lots of dots to combine together and form a picture. How he did it was when he put two colours side by side, right next to each other, you, what your eye, your eye does, it optically mixes it. So if you put like blue and yellow together, your eye actually reads green. And that's what he was doing. The, the artist, George Sura, used the term divisionism, or another term is pointillism. And what he did was he just covered his canvases in tiny, tiny little dots, but when you stand back, you can actually see the image. Now, depending on your grade level, you're going to have a different subject matter to do. What you're going to need is some watercolour paper, a pencil to lightly draw your image, you're going to have a watercolour palette, and how you're going to apply your dots are with the Q-tips. And you're going to need some water to actually wet your Q-tip and wet your paint. I've got a brush here that will actually help me wet my paint as well. Now for those of you that are in third grade, you're actually going to be doing a frog. If you can see here, my image of a frog, it's all done by little, little dots. And you're actually going to receive, and you can see here, you're going to receive an image of a frog. And I've got lots of frogs. Um, for the other grade levels, you're going to have an image of either a, a butterfly or a flower. Now, if I was to take a butterfly, take my pencil, and very lightly draw out an image, just a simple image of a butterfly. Remember, we're using symmetry if we're doing a butterfly, and symmetry is that it's the same on both sides. So very carefully trace out your butterfly shape. Now, try and use it from the images that I've been supplying you. So you've got photographs and colours of true butterflies. Now, I'm going to start by applying some colour. I'm going to wet this colour here. And I'm going to wet this colour here and start activating some of these paints wet my q-tip, just dip it into the water, and there you can see the colour. And I'm going to do my dots and keep them very, very close together. Like that. Get some more colours. So I'm going to go for the other colour. Now when you find that your q-tip is getting all mushy, you can turn it over and use the other side and eventually you can change it and get a new one. Now you can see there, just by applying two different colours, I've got a lovely warm uh, shade of red and orange going on there. I'm going to start. The colours I'm using are the colours of a monarch butterfly, so I'm doing the oranges and blacks.
Okay, and what you guys are going to do is you're going to fill your whole paper with background as well as the subject matter, as subject matter in this case is the butterfly, and put colours side by side to create an optical mixing technique. Again, optical. Your eyes are putting those colours together that might be sitting side by side and mixing them. Okay. And eventually, when you have your, your project completely filled, it should be something along these lines. So you, when I say the background, this is what I mean by the background. This particular fella, this tree frog, was on a log. And you can see there how it worked. 